hi guys welcome back to my channel you guys know the drill we're driving to school today again um today's video is going to be a little the same as yesterday me driving to school until i get there and find parking i don't know if i'm going to find parking today because i'm running a little late i left my house at 10 15 it's currently 10 20 so i have class at 11 i have to be exactly in there at 10 30 10 50 i guess so i can be in class my hair is a mess i know but humidity has destroyed it but I, I like it it looks like i just woke up and i love just waking up hair it looked like i didn't do anything but wake up which you know i do kind of love i right, the girl hurry up this is where yesterday i got into a fight by myself by yelling internally at the guy that was doing the dumb stupid circles thing that he was doing i don't know so weird but um i also wanted to talk about certain things like i have not been um able to read as much as like because you guys know that i love reading i love learning new things i love learning and reading different point of views different things things that will keep my mind open you guys know that i'm very when it comes to the world i am very aware of what's happening and i also see the bigger picture even if they're trying to manipulate you that the bigger picture is whatever they're doing is right i am pro humanity i don't care about you guys um justification for unaliving murder i don't care for honor any of that like i am pro humanity i don't give a fuck like what your point of view is because if you're not pro humanity then you're not even human bitch you're just just a sheep that follow everything everybody else tell you to follow and because they want you to and you know what that, that, that's what it is i want every like honestly guys like i didn't know the importance of free speech because i always thought that when i was younger um before i not before i woke up because i've always been woken up as when i moved to america like i basically woke the fuck up but there's things that you don't know that you're doing wrong that are wrong even if you claim to be a good person and that's something that it took me a while to understand when i was younger and that was what made me become a more universal person like a very accepting of or, or respecting of everyone's else's opinions even if they don't agree with mine even if your lifestyle doesn't collide with mine i respect you for you and for who you are and your point of view even if you're stupid okay why because at the same time because at the end of the day you don't know that you're being lied to i mean you do but you don't like you do but you don't question anything and that is not your fault that you don't question things to be honest i i grew up or i was born to be a thinker not a, a free thinker at that but i also grew up to question everything like my family didn't didn't um they didn't taught me how to think every how to think about everything but i was just a curious kid ever since i was younger i was always curious i was given you know i always listened though like i'm i was a very respectful child but due to all of the circumstances that i like that i life threw at me um i was able to mature quickly but there's a there's a there's a thing with maturing quickly and giving adult responsibility at a young age although i was given a adult responsibility at a young age i was always a mature mature child i've always been very quiet i'm always like i'm one of those people that i am very quiet at first and then after i analyze the situation i know what's going on then i show my true persona yes i do um 
because I think that is very important for you to analyze the situation. You should not show your true self to everyone and anyone and just anyone. I feel like your true self should be reserved for the people that actually like will appreciate it. And because I knew that at a young age, I didn't I didn't have to um, fight that if that makes sense. And there's a lot of it, it, it is a lot of things, you know. Like even when I was younger, like I used to be like. My family used to be racist as hell. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna say throw her hood, but no, it was not, again, black people because we're black bitch. Don't get me there. Um, but my family were racist against, not my family, but certain people in my family. And growing up, you know, you pick up on that, but you don't know that that's racism. You don't know that that's wrong. But once you, but to me, when I came to America, and I started going to school, to middle school, with, like, all different ethnicities, um, different people, like, with, with everyone, essentially. I realized, oh, my gosh, what the fuck? Like, what, what is that? And you guys sometimes might think that I'm hatred toward my own people, like, my own Hispanic people. Like, I'm not, I don't hate my own people. Yes, they annoy me the fuck, they annoy the fuck out of me because they're dumb, but it's because they're ignorant. It's like they're ignorant. The thing is that like Hispanic people, not everyone, the people that I grew up with are ignorant, okay? And that's why they thought the way that they thought. The adults in my life that I was growing up with, they were ignorant. They were ignorant people from the country that they don't know anything about life and they want to basically think that they're philosophers. And even to these days, to this day, like they're still like super ignorant. I'm like, wow, like how are you an adult at this point? Like, wow, like this insane thank you um anyway so that was that and and i'm and my, but i'm telling you this because i learned a lot of the things that i was taught as a child when i was in my teenage years when i was in my teenage years okay so let me tell you one, one more thing also not only was I learned all of that by talking to people, becoming friends with like different groups of people, but also it was by doing my own research. I honestly always question even like the scholarly um, articles that I read here and there because I'm like, um, this is dumb. Um, especially when I read things of things that happen when I, I was aware of things that were happening. For example, like for example, I don't remember nine one one. Obviously, like I don't remember. I don't even remember how old I was. I was like four years old, five years old. I don't care. I don't know how old, how old I was, but all I know is I was in DR. I don't remember any of that. But what I do remember, what do I remember? Hold on, let me see what I remember. Oh. The 2007-2008 market crash. You guys, I didn't even know that there was a recession back then. Like, to be honest, that didn't affect me in any type of... Like, that did not affect me in any type of way. And then when you read it in books, and I'm like, oh, like, every American was st struggling to survive. And I'm like, what, bitch? What? Like, things like that. Like, sometimes... Like, yes, a lot of people suffer, but it was only the rich that suffered. It was the rich that suffered. Like, for recessions, most of the recessions, I'm not saying most of them, but, like, yes, the average American struggle. Like, for example, me buying food these days is, like, too expensive. Back when I was 10, 11, 12, 13, $50 to buy $50. $50 worth of fruit and vegetables, you will get so much. Now, oh no, with $25, with $30, you will buy so much fruit and fruits. With $60, $60. With $60, you will, buy, you will buy so much of fruit and vegetables that will literally rot on your counter. These days, $60 of just fruit is basically a watermelon, a couple of peaches, and a couple of grapes. That's it. It's crazy how um, I get that, but I also I think life was so different back then, I guess, because life being different back then, I used to live with my grandma. You guys know that my grandma, what she was doing, my grandma used to be a drug dealer, and I guess money was different, and also, like, 
when you're a kid, I guess you don't really pay attention to what's happening around you. You um you don't really know what's going on. I guess, but I guess I, I, I guess, I, let me not speak about this because honestly, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Where are you going, bitch? Anyway, but back to the whole thing. You guys need to stop your pre-justice about, pre-justice, is this what you call it? pre, pre, pre just, I don't know the word. You guys don't speak English. Um, about certain things. And stop your your narrow-minded views. Honestly, your narrow-minded views is the is the reason why we're here, where we are today in this world. That's why your government does not give a shit about you, and that's why um, your government you're go you're giving all of your power to the government, and you live in this illusion because it's the it's an illusion that you have the power to throw away your like please bitch, please. Next. Um, let me talk to you a little bit about what I'm doing today. So today I'm actually, I'm going to go to class right now. I have class in 30 minutes. I don't know where I'm parking. I hopefully, hopefully I find parking guys. Like I'm not even kidding. Yesterday I was so lucky to find parking right in front of the police station of my school. And I hope I find parking there again. Honestly, like I really hope that. And, um... Let me see what else. The police station. Oh wow. I hope it's not gonna get by another car. This is my oh no, this is not my I think the other one is mine. Then um after school I'm going to stay on campus and work on whatever I need to work oh my god my breakfast today my dinner today my lunch today is so skinny I didn't want to do a vlog when I'm eating lunch so you guys can see how skinny my lunch is today oh my gosh so um tomorrow's video is gonna be of me eating at school being skinny you guys are gonna love my skinny lunch it's literally the most skinniest lunch I love it so much you guys are gonna be obsessed with it and um, then after I finish that, um, I'm gonna stay on campus until it's time for me to who's into it. I'm gonna stay on campus. I can do this. Oh, I'm gonna stay on campus until it's time for me to go to therapy. I have therapy today. I honestly don't want to go. I'm I'm going to I'm going to tell him that. I'm going to skip it. Like it's now he's trying to do like every week. Like so I don't need therapy every week. Come on. Like I'm going to do it every other week or every two weeks or once a month. Because honestly, I don't need it as much. I mean I do need it, but right now I need to focus on school and the time that I have, like my okay, this is how I'm gonna do my schedule. Tuesdays after class, I'm going to stay on campus until six PM and do school work. That's what I'm going to do, just school work all day and i have so much homework guys it's insane and i didn't expect to have all of this schoolwork like excuse the fucking me why do i have so much schoolwork i don't get it i don't get why i have so much schoolwork but i do unfortunately and i'm not okay with this but whatever um i gotta just hope that i find parking Um, you like this shirt? This shirt makes me feel like I'm prettier. I like it. Oh, they want to get run over. You see, this one. Oh, that's another thing that I want to talk about. Oh my god, we're going to talk about school right now. Um, I'm so sorry, but I do feel like these ugly ass students are crusty and I'm not, you see, you guys have to be more self-aware. Um, these crusty ass students need to be a little bit more self-aware because 
Yes, you are going to class. You're hurrying the fuck up. So am I. I'm driving to find parking because I have also I also have class to do. But you guys don't want to be out here like you guys are the only ones on the street that need to go to school. Like, bitch, please. This is why I sometimes hate students. Because, you know, I'm not like any other student. <laughs> and that is the truth. Truth. Like, hurry the fuck up, bitch. Oh, there's no parking in front of what I told you yesterday. Oh, wait, no. I'm gonna park here. I'm gonna park here. I'm not parking, I'm not parking. Garage. Um, since you're parking this street, I don't sit there. Oh, I should have parked right there. I have to come earlier next time. Okay, this is maybe I'll park here. I'm not sure. This is like off campus, like off campus. Hmm. You guys know how I feel about off campus parking. But whatever. No, next time I'm coming earlier. I don't care. I'm waking up. I'm waking my ass up early. Coming earlier. To be honest, I came late because I um, woke up late. Well, if not, then I can just pop. Well, I'm only gonna be here for like an hour. Maybe I can just pay for the thing. You know? Should I do that? This car leaving or they just parked. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, they just got there. Oh, I think I could have parked there, but I should have parked there. I don't fit here because the little asshole can park for shit. So this is the Montgomery. so fucking late for class it's not even funny you know what i'm not gonna be late i'm not actually not i refuse to be late if i have to pay for parking i will fuck it because i refuse to be late to class i refuse to be late to class yes i do i refuse to be late to class we're not manifesting lateness today. We're manifesting. I'm arriving earlier to class today. So we're manifesting right now. We're manifesting early arrival and sitting in a chair where I'm not near annoying people. Oh my gosh, did I tell you about the bitch yesterday? Oh my gosh, okay. So yesterday's, um, you know what? You got almost 20 minutes of me ranting. I don't want to do this right now. Yeah, go because I don't have class. Only you guys have class. Only you guys have class. Dumb bitches, like, excuse me. 
you guys am i like being unreasonable like seriously like it's true like i would understand i mean i wouldn't even understand that because even as a pedestrian if you've been sitting there for like more than on a stop sign more than if i know that you're sitting there waiting to like drive around i'm not gonna hold you up i'm like oh just go because it takes only a second for you to drive right now once one car starts driving around everybody else and their mom also wants to um <clears throat> wants to drive around though there's always parking here there's no parking today is this car leaving oh you're not supposed to even park there I would have left so hard. Okay. Oh, I think I'm really far from my campus. Look at the bug. Can I turn there? No, I can't. It's okay. I'm just going to pay for parking. I have class in 20 minutes, guys. Like, I'm not even going to buy this. Because I have to, like, you know, at this point, like, I have to do it. All of these unaware pieces of shit. If you're a student, you're an asshole. Be more self-aware of your surroundings, you little bitch. And maybe you will not get run over. Oh, I think I found a free parking. Oh, I can't park there. There's a fire hydrant there. When I used to not drive and used to walk around everywhere, I used to be very self-aware of my surroundings always. Why? Because I didn't want to get run over by a car. Especially if the car, it's, you know, you know what I mean. If the car is, you know what I mean, the car will never go over. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys so much. I'm sorry for my ranting today. I'm just a little annoyed by these un unaware little bit of bitches students. I hate them all. Let me do my lip with you really quick then. I'm going to be sitting here for like three hours because these students don't have any um, awareness of what's happening around them. Oh my god, I feel bad because like the girl, and I still I'm, I'm not really thinking about it. I just I just remember because I feel bad because is that even her fault? It's me. Like I'm the issue, and like I don't want me. I don't want you guys to think that it's her because no, it's not her. She just wants to make friends, but I don't want to be friends with her. And I'm not saying oh I'm being a mean girl. Like I do not want to be a mean girl, but at the same time it's just like I don't want to be your friend. Like I'm so sorry, but I do not want to be your friend unless you're gonna book me, bitch. I don't want to be your friend. And like, you know when you have vibes of people and you're like, okay, like this girl is very clingy. That's what I got from her. And I don't want clingy friends. Like if she was like a normal person that I knew that she wasn't going to be as clingy, I would 100% like be okay with being her friends. But I generally don't want to be, don't, don't want to be friends with like a clingy person. And to be honest, like I feel bad, but like that's the vibe that she, even if she's not, like I'm sorry that I'm putting you in that pocket, but that's the vibe that I'm getting off from her. And because those are the vibes that I'm getting from her, I decided that I maybe don't want to be her friend because of that. And I feel bad. Yes, I do feel bad 100% because, you know, again, this is probably not who she is. But my love, I'm so sorry, but that's, you know.
parking at the, go at the lot because fuck it. I'm gonna be paying for parking. All my money is gonna go to parking today. What can I do? I have class in 15 minutes. I, like, I have to. Good thing is that I know where my classroom is because there's only like three classrooms so you can park at. I think I'm just gonna get the, the parking thing. This is what I'm talking about. It's looking students, wow. You guys, you guys think that I'm, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm, I need to go, bye guys.